Now I'm going to show you how to put all of your averages in a graph and only your averages because you really don't want to have all of this data. You only want the averages of the data and you need to have all of the averages for multiple different um, experimental groups or levels of the independent variable on the same graph so that you can compare them. Now the, what I did was I took the average of the control, it's in column I, took the average of 0.5 mils of catalase, it's in Q. I have the average of 1 mil, it's in Y, and I have the average of 1.5 mils, that's in AG. And right here I have a little uh, um, reminder of what's in my average column. So column A is the time, column I is the control average, column Q, Y, and AG are my averages. So that I remember specifically which ones I want in the graph and not the actual trial runs but the averages of three trials. So I just want to highlight my averages. Uh, I just want to highlight what I want to graph except that for some reason Excel doesn't like headings and so I'm going to get rid of the top three rows so that I only have data and that's going to make it just really easy to graph in Excel. So I'm just going to delete these cells and now I just want to highlight only the averages and I also need my independent variable which is time in seconds. So I'm going to highlight, put my cursor on column A. It's got a little down arrow. I'm going to highlight that. Then I'm going to go to my average which is in column I. I'm going to hit control on the keyboard again the bottom left hand key. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to highlight my next average which is in Q. Uh, again with my finger on the control button I'm going to highlight my next average in Y and my last average in AG. Now I want to insert the graph. I'm going to go to insert there's the insert tab at the very top right up here and you want a scatter graph. You do not want a line graph. If you think you're going to cut some corners, you're not. This is going to end up wrong and it's just going to be wrong in so many ways. So don't do it. You want to insert a scatter graph and then you will make the trend line. So hit scatter graph and you want to choose the upper left hand picture which doesn't have any, all the dots are separate. So hit that and there is my graph of all the data. All right, I'm going to enlarge it so I can work with it. The first one, the first um, screencast of my Excel series shows you exactly how to do your labels and your units and your title. The last thing you have to do is label each of these lines. Uh, each of these lines is one of your data series. Series one is the first column that you highlighted, so that's column I, which is the control. But I don't want it to say series one. I want it to say column, I want it to say control average or control because I'm going to put the average in the title. So what I'm going to do is go to, let's see, where is that? Going to, there you go, select data and that was a right click by the way. I just had my cursor on any one of the lines and I right clicked it and um, you could see series one right here is highlighted. I'm going to hit edit and I'm just going to change it to control and then I'm going to hit OK. I think, I think that was the right one. Yep, series two. I'm going to edit that and that's going to be 0 0.5 mils of catalase and I'll do the others, series three and series four. And you can see over here, um, it's changed the labels for each of the lines. And then what you're going to want to do is put in um, trend lines and uh, the formulas, and you should be good. And as a reminder, I'll show you how to do that in one more video.